In this video, I'll show you not one but three different ways of fixing pip errors within seconds. In your start menu, search for Python. Select open file location, then right click and open file location again. There should be a script folder in here. Open up the script folder and finally click on the search bar. Type in cmd and hit enter. This will open up the command prompt in this specific folder. And now you can use pip without any errors. Another alternative is to use pip as a part of a program. To do that, open up your python console and type in import pip. Then use the pip.main function which requires a list of two strings. While the first one being installed, the second one is the name of the module you want to install. And as soon as you hit enter, pip will install the specified module without any errors. If neither one of these methods work, there is a third option. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. Basically, it contains hundreds of Python modules that you can download manually. So, press Ctrl F and type in the name of the module that you want. Each module has multiple versions available. I'm gonna download the 64-bit version of the latest one because I know my Windows architecture is 64-bit. Once the file is downloaded, copy the file and paste it in the same script folder as mentioned in method 1. Once that's done, copy the name of the file Open up the command prompt in the script folder, type in pip install and the name of the file. Now if you're still getting an error, means that pip is missing from your computer. To fix that, you have two options. You can either run this file which basically installs and sets up pip automatically or you can uninstall python altogether and reinstall the latest version from their website but i would recommend the first one now keep in mind no matter how effective these methods are they are in fact temporary solutions so if you are looking for more of a permanent one i recommend you to watch this video next that does exactly that